How's it going? How's everybody feeling? Good to see you guys again. Again. After three to four minutes. Uh, playing Tales. Tales from the Borderlands. No, we're not. Tales from the Borderlands is actually on my YouTube channel. I've got the full playthrough there. If you guys want to check it out, be my guest. I want to get this hat so I look like a hipster. And it's not like cooperating with me. That's closer, I guess. Anyway. Um... We're playing uh, Game of Thrones, actually. And uh, we're going to be playing this for a little bit. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. I've got some feelers out as far as like what I want to do after this is done. But uh, we'll see. But for now, a couple of short things. I joined and accepted the invitation um, to be in the New Game Plus stream team with some other awesome broadcasts. I'm honored to be a part of it. Um, I joined because uh, some of my favorite broadcasts are in there. There's Co Carnage, Elaheim, Eat My Diction, Tangent Gaming, Anthony Kong Fan, uh, Bike Man, um, Future Man Gaming. And now we're going to be a part of it. Zikonia is still going strong, though. Don't worry. That team is not dissolved. I will always look at my uh, Zikonia team, uh, stream team when I get off to raid somebody. Um, so, just to let you know, that's what's going on. Also, if you guys want to check down below, there's a new a button down there for chrono.gg. Now, chrono.gg is a new site, a new thing. It's in, uh, just started today. Every 24 hour period, there will be a new game on sale, uh, indie game on sale, every 24 hour period, resetting at 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, and today, it's Broforce on sale for uh, $5, which is normally a $15 game, but it's a $5 game right now. If you click that link and you go by Broforce, it's 5 bucks. Also, I get a little uh, little, little backdoor action, <laughs> which means I get, I get a little kickback, of course. But the reason why I like this is because it gives, it gives you a heads up on discounts on indie games. So it's for my viewers and it's for the indie game developers to get their games out so that's all i got for you let's get back to the game shall we shall we let's hope i'll be happy here what up 10 jk how you doing welcome all new people are welcome here thank you uh we do a little get a little crass a little uh vulgar from time to time but we're uh we're nice people and I didn't exit the game. Let me exit it and restart it. And, uh... Let's see here. Uh, local files. Verify. I knew I was supposed to do this during the break, but we're going to do this right now. Because it has been freezing freezing in the middle of the game. Yeah, I didn't restart the game, but I am doing it now. Verifying all that shit. And we also have a brand new sub to welcome. Oh yeah. Hail Bahamut Fire! Berserker! Bahamut Fire, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, in case you didn't see the, uh, the image. Oh wait, I got a new image, by the way. From Meow Yin. And she said, this is the this is the glowy one. Because I didn't get the glowy one the first time, I guess. Mm, hold on. I don't know if I can do that. Will it let me? It will. Okay, good. Okay. So this is this is the original image right there. And then uh, Miao Yin just sent me one that she said is uh, a glowy one. And I'm not sure what she means by that. I'll have to look at them side by side here. Or not.
I guess I don't have to. What the fuck? What happened to it? Okay. Is it is it a fucking different file type? That shouldn't matter. Hold on a goddamn second. I'm sorry, guys. Hmm. It must be a different file type, but that's basically that's basically it right there. There's some blurriness on on a on the other one. Kind of like a motion shot, like that um. Uh, hmm. The flaming heart is on the top right. Oh my god, it is. Look at that. Look at that. There's a flaming heart like uh on the <laughs> on the the top right here. It's like forming around my uh around my hammer, which is fucking cool. Okay, yeah, Meow 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 Yin is a badass, in fact. That is very true. All right. Let's see if this worked. I really hope that this, like, takes away all the, the pausing and shit. Start to begin. I'm beginning. Thank you, Ollie. Thank you, Ollie. Mm. Why am I drinking that? I'll drink plenty during the game. I don't need to drink on my own. I'll drink plenty during the game. Okay. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Give it a second. Fuck. Nope, that didn't help. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. All right. A strange place, Essos. I'm gonna see if it if it doesn't do it just with keyboard and mouse. Ethan made this for me. It probably won't. But that pisses me the fuck off. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Yep. Keyboard and mouse, no pausing. I hate it. I hate it! Look at it. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Wonders made by man, 
by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Well, okay, maybe... Maybe it was just the controller that was doing it. And you have to have... It has to be wired. Yeah, it has to it has to be like connected physically to the computer. It can't you can't do wireless mode. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? If I if I take out the dongle, will it work then? Maybe it'll stop skipping if I, if I, because I, I took out the, the wireless dongle. We'll see. We'll see what happens. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. I think that might have been it. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Yep, no pauses so far. I think that... Oh! Never mind. I mean, if it gets bad again, we'll just switch back. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, I'm fine. No, it's fine. Come in. I don't, I, well, I don't think this game has V-Sync. It has anti-lazing, but I don't think it has V-Sync. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Who was that? Kelly Enns for five months in a row. Thank you, Kelly Enns. Welcome and thank you. Appreciate your continued support. Five months. Much love. Begging your pardon, lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking. God. You seem rather upset. I'm fine. fine. Thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? 
I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking nope. about the Starks oh. and, and House Forest. House Forrester! Forrester, double drink! I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Double drink! But I thought you ought to know. Thank you for telling me. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. My favorite! Lady You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Faux Arister. <laughs> Lady Marjorie. From the day you arrived in High Garden, <sighs> I've thought of you more as a friend than as my hand. Is my favorite. A dear friend, in fact. Game of Thrones character. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining, and your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief, but you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North, no! whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Northern? She was very pleased no. with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you and, by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Shut up, Scott. What are you looking at, Skyrim? You can fuck yourself. Give me the stink eye. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Now my second favorite character, the Imp. You can do this. Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister. He's so much cooler in the books. Nothing, nothing against Dinklage, but... He's uglier in the books. He just comes off better in the books. I don't know. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Wild! Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. I love you, Wild. How you doing, buddy? Oh, knee, bend the knee, bend the knee. Your Grace. The Queen is the pleased. Her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Yeah, he did a good job. I'm not saying he did a bad job. House Forrester is a North Forrester! Loyal Cheers! The Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. 
The girl can speak for her house. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the foresters have Forrester! been loyal Bannon to House Stark. A house of traitors. All right, I'll get one more. Yes, your grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you. You if bitch! you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. All right, I'm down one. Fuck you guys! Their house to a swift and sudden end. Fuck off! Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester! Forrester Ironwood does mm. seem rather... Forrester again. Mm. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you oh, find it quickly. Oh, displeased! Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. I love this. this I have no idea what the right answer is. Of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? If you are a girl from the north who knows this to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. I'm out of beer again. Loyalty to a king that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Yep. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priority straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? Ah. The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab a beer. But here's the thing with this, because I'm out of beer. Uh, what I'm guessing is, I say like I'm loyal to Marjorie, and she says what she said, or I say I'm loyal to Joffrey. She's like, oh, so quickly to give up your loyalties, your sworn oath. To be, you know, Marjorie's handmaiden. Hmm. Does your loyalty waver so easily? I'm like, there's no right choice, you fucking cunt! Eat a dick! All right. Hold on. I got Before I leave. There it is. We got one. The horn has sounded. A new warrior joins. 
Hail Croc Knight, or Crow Knight, excuse me, Berserker. Crow Knight, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome, thank you. All right, give me one second. I'll be right back. Gotta get a beer. Let's do this. Resume. Resume. I'll walk you out. Oh, good. Thank you. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Dallas, uh, Del Sirius. Even then, he didn't dress Ruse Bolton. What up, Del Sirius? We only spoke in a row. briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. <clears throat> it was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I wasn't trying to please her. I think that was clear to everyone. <laughs> My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. Holy shit! We must find our amusements where we can. Hold on! Hold on a goddamn minute! We're being raided by... Is that the Tang? The Tang in gaming NG+. Plus? Motherfucking yeah! Are you ready, babies? Let's do this! It's a ride! The Tangent Raid is here with the NG Plus. Prisoners! Helms on! Hammers out! Leave not alive! Except for Tangent. You leave his beautiful bearded ass to me. Because he's got a date with the fuck now, doll! Tangent! Kalima! Kalima! Shakti! You're hot! Oh. Ah. <laughs> what is going on? Tangent Gaming, how you doing, man? Tangent Gaming, another uh, member of the new game, the new New Game Plus Dream Team. Very happy to announce that today. That I was uh, invited and accepted into the new stream team. I can't wait for what's to come. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Probably spit on myself a little bit. It's all right. Uh, we're in the middle of Telltale Month right now. And uh, we're playing Game of Thrones. And it's a drinking game that I guess I came up with kind of on the fly. Anytime the word North or Forester is said, we drink for them. We drink to the north, and we drink for House Forester. So, 
That's where we're at. Yeah, I, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm spitty. I'll spit a lot, so. No worries. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Forrester! Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, <sighs> and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you. Nukinak! House. Nukinak, 15 months! Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. No luck, Chuck! 19 months! Girl, aren't you? What's going on, guys? I'll consider it. Thank you both. Thank you both. Now, no. if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Oh, Three Sansa. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. The North! King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Ah, no, it's not. It's just Bud Light. It's something I can drink easily over and over again. It's not something that I like have to sit there and taste. It's just it's basically beer water. And fuck the haters. Uh no luck, Chuck. 19 months, Jesus. Nukanak, thank you as well. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. <laughs> what? It's true. Tarnishing that white cloak and with my vagina. Martel, <gasps> the red, the red viper. viper. Mm. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Hold on, new sub. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't, I don't want, want to be, to be queen. queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? No. You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. That doesn't count. Northerners don't count. Northern and northerners do not count. Only north counts. Oh, but we got a new sub. Hail, Wasama, Berserker. The horn has sounded. Join us, Wasama. Good to have you, Wasama. Thank you so much. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Uh. Brienne of Tarth and Whoa. Tyrion Lannister. Ha! <laughs> what a perfect match. That would be a good match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well... Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. Nope. The Queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. There's nothing I'm I can do. I'm glad it's over. There's nothing I can do. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. 
I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Fucking Boltons! I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Hey, Coben. Something important. What's up? Gotta ask for help. I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. All right, if you say so, Marjorie. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has Forrester! the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially <coughs> now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... You're the only one who can help me. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Yay! Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Lorg! Lorg, 29 months! 29 months, Lorg. What, what, you couldn't sub the first month? You couldn't be that, for, you can be on the first month sub, huh? Huh? 29's all you got, you bitch? I'm just kidding, I love you. I love you, I didn't mean to, I, I blew up, I'm sorry. Sympathy subs. <laughs> Seven house. <laughs> oh no. Don't flame. Oh god. Shall we? I hate you! Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? I hate you so much. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. To the North! He does now. 
How much further is it to these foresters? Forester! Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen. There. What? What? Hear that? No. Didn't hear anything. I know I heard something. Say so. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Jesus. Oh, that's terrible. Eat my dick! As I was saying, you are young. Hey, Angie Plus, buddy. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Hey, buddy. How you doing, buddy? But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand. Forester! Lord Gerhard the Tall, <sighs> who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord, Lord James the, the Incontinent. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect. Iron Chef Bobby Flayed. Boo! But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. No, Zuckus. Move. <laughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. Did I miss Forster? Forster. <laughs> Double drink. I missed Body. it. Sorry. Missed it. You spoke of judgment, Sir Royland. What judgment is that? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Shut the fuck up, Silence. No one asks your fucking opinion. No fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons. Just but kidding. Instead, we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes. My lord, I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. You'll address him as Lord. That's the truth of the world. That's the truth that's, that's always been. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. 
Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He can send him to the wall. Send him to the wall or take three fingers? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can send him to the wall instead of taking three fingers? Like, that's a better punishment? Like, send him to the wall instead of taking... No, the wall is a way worse punishment than taking three of his fingers. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Law's the law, baby. Law's the uh, law. Ethan of House Forrester. Forrester! Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. No, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! <laughs> Just three of your fingers. My lord, Relax. Normally it is the Lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. If you do not feel ready. I'll do it. I will carry out the sentence. Whoever carries the sentence must swing the blade. This is injustice, my lord! Chop. We are not a lawless society. You lived. You're fine. You got three fingers left, or two, seven fingers left. You're fine. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Yep. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty. So I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, God, no. God, no! I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There you got it still going! For the role. Wild, was that a They're Arrested Development reference? Job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. All right. He can never jerk off again? That is patently false. Pretend like... Pretend like you got John Holmes here. Even with, the, like, okay, this is what I got. I got the, the thumb and forefinger right here. You can still do this, and your palm is what does most of the work anyway. Not your fingers, your palm. Because that's the most surface... surface-to-surface surface area when you're jerking off. Like, I could jerk off... Probably just my palm and my thumb, honestly. In fact, I think I might have. I think I might have. And also, yeah, he's still got his other hand.
Look at the food. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Has anything gone missing? No, doesn't look that way. Seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. If that's what's necessary to keep the house safe, then we must. Aye, a hard choice. But it's what has to be done. Yep. I'll see to the arrangements. Yep. My lord. Ms. Ms. Manager of Education. Yeah, I, I doubt she knows more about jerking off than I do. I seriously doubt that. Because she's been jerking off maybe since she was 16. I've been doing it for since I was like nine. And, you know, just for biological reasons, because, well, frankly, she doesn't have a penis. So I'm just, I'm guessing 16, 17 was the first time she jerked off somebody else. <laughs> Unless she doesn't do that, in which case I'm telling tales out of school. Because <laughs> some girls don't do that. Some girls let make you do everything. Make you do all the work. Which is okay, but not not all the time. Like, I would never date a girl who made me do all the work all the time. <laughs> Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my Lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my Lord. At your service, my lord. Oh, okay. Who likes getting hand jobs? No, hand jobs are great in the right situation. Like a hand job in a movie theater is fucking magic. Like a hand job, hand, I think I think hand jobs are meant for like public places and for like uh, like moving vehicles. I would say like a hand job on an airplane would be fucking awesome. Like a hand job while driving down the highway would be great. A hand job in a movie theater would be great. Like those are the times for hand jobs, not just while you're watching House of Cards with your girlfriend or whatever. And she's like, hey, you know, I'll take it. Of course I'll take it. But it's like, I mean, can we do some? Can we do some mouth stuff, maybe? Or maybe some sex stuff? Like, don't, I mean, don't just jerk me off. I won't, I would never say that, though. I would never say, like, stop jerking me off. But I would hope that there's going to be more stuff if it's in a private situation. Yeah, kids go to the theater, but they shouldn't be in movies that, that you know... Dude, you have you have kids and you have sex in the same house. It's the same idea. It's like sure they could catch you having sex, but like it doesn't stop you from doing it. You don't leave the house or like hire a babysitter every time you want to have sex with your wife. Do you? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. 
dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. The fuck does it matter whose kids First they are? Night. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she... In fact, it's probably better if you catch strangers doing it. Because you can just tell your kids that like, oh, they don't like each other. They're being mean. Where you have to explain shit to your children like, Mommy and Daddy were wrestling. You can just write it off when it's strangers. So that just poked holes in your fucking theory, Scott. Fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not for the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Okay, what? Jeez. Antoine for a whole Mother year, buddy. Me. Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Thank you, Antoine. I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him. How could you be so cruel? <laughs> I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? I did what I had to, and I stand by it. You talk like it was the only thing to be done. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You have always given me good advice. Thank you. Okay. It's uh, it's been an hour since break, um, so we're gonna take a we're gonna take a short break here. Uh, but before I go, listen. As far as like the hand job in a movie theater, when you say kids go to theaters, like first of all, you don't get a hand job when you're watching fucking like Inside Out or fucking uh, 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 Kung Fu Panda or some shit. You don't go to Kung Fu Panda and get a hand job. You go to like like some shitty like political movie like. I don't fucking know, like Michael Clayton or some shit. That's where you get a hand job. You get a hand job during that kind of movie. Some shit that kids would never go to and parents wouldn't even think to bring their kids to. That's where you get your hand job. Some sort of like Tinker Ta Taylor Soldier Spy. Like some shitty movie like that. That's all words and exposition and bullshit. That's hand job movie. And also, the theater most likely will be empty. And it'll be just you and her. Anyway, break time. I'll be right back. Don't go away. More to come. <laughs> 